Hello, in this video, we will create our own custom commands which can accept the arguments. And to learn that, we will create our own custom command vertex particle, which would give you the capability of attaching the particles on the vertices of your own mesh. So here I have a mesh that I have brought in Maya and I run my custom command on it and it generates the particle system and it attaches particles on each vertex of this mesh and after that I can apply the dynamics to this particle to create any artistic effect. To do so, we would first understand what is the structure of the command which accepts the argument. So this is an example command and this command creates a polysphere and if we would dissect this command, we will find this is the command. This first part which is a string is called as command object which is usually the name of an object. It is also called as command argument. This here, which is a shortcut or the short name for query is the flag and true, which is defining the value of this flag is called as flag argument which is same for sx and true. sx here is flag and true here is flag argument. So there are three different terms which we understood after dissecting a command. So if we create a command which accepts the argument and we pass command object flag and flag argument to it, we need something which can store all these values. With that, we would also need something which can parse this and we can differentiate what is flag, what is flag argument and what is command object. And based on the values of those, we can perform certain operation or you, we can use those values. So to understand that, we would understand two different terms, which are M syntax and mArg database. So what is m syntax? m syntax is an object that has collection of flags, flag arguments and command objects. And it helps Maya to accept only those arguments which, which are defined in this collection. So when I would create the command, I would define what type of flags it would accept, what kind of object and arguments it would accept. And when we, when I will register that command and during the execution or when I will use that command and I will pass the flags, Maya will check against this M syntax object that is it an acceptable flag or not. And what is mArg database? mArg database is a class that provides us with the function using which we can parse, store, and retrieve flags, flag argument, and command objects. So this would give us the capability of parsing, storing, and retrieving flags, flag arguments, and command arguments or command objects. And if we take a deeper dive into mArg database, we will see that it is derived